Hey, welcome to Jesus in a Tortilla. Uh, a morning edition, breakfast edition. I always come out really hard against uh, kid cereal. I'm just kidding. I grew up eating some Cap'n Crunch. Not so much the normal Cap'n Crunch, but peanut butter Cap'n Crunch. Now, if you're old like me, you'll remember how wonderful peanut butter Cap'n Crunch used to be. They had to sell it in tin foil lined bags because it was so greasy. <laughs> Sometimes the outside of the box would be stained with grease, and it was glorious. But, you know, just like here, you see a bunch of different new um, Cap'n Crunches. In fact, I reviewed uh, Blueberry Pancake Crunch. I didn't really like it very much. Uh, but there's a ton. There's Holiday Cap'n Crunches, all kinds of different Cap'n Crunches. But they never seem to monkey around with the Peanut Butter Crunch. I think it's maybe it's because it's so popular or it's, so, it's already perfect. It's not as good as it used to be, though. But um, I think there has been a chocolate peanut butter crunch. And I did some research, and it was shoddy research because I'm really lazy, but I did look around, and I couldn't find peanut butter jelly cat and crunch. That would be a perfect, <laughs> a perfect pairing. Why, wasn't, why has there never been a peanut butter jam sandwich? Captain Crunch. Well, now there will be, because I'm going to make it. And I really did research this, and I couldn't find anybody that's made it. And yes, I know, I could have picked the berries out of this, and they already have all berry Captain Crunch, but it has green and blue berries in it, and that doesn't even make any sense for a peanut butter sandwich. So, we got some peanut butter crunch. I'm telling it still smells good, but it's not like it used to be, I'm telling you. Put a little bit of that in. Oh boy. What we got? A little bit of that in. A little bit of that in. A little bit of that in. Alright, we got it. The perfect formula. PBJ Cap'n Crunch. You see it here first, I think. Maybe not. A little bit of good old-fashioned milk. Because you got to have milk with the PBJ. The only thing that would make this a little bit better is a couple potato chips tossed in there. I'm kind of excited about this. It's kind of a beautiful thing. Can you see it? You're probably going to not be able to see it, but it's kind of a beautiful thing. Ah... <sighs> smells nice. Let's try to get an equal pairing. Mm, close enough. There it is. The inaugural bite. PB&J Cap'n Crunch. That's why I'm wearing my flight goggles. The inaugural flight. Try that again. Look at there's a spoon. Yeah, little shaky McGee holding it there. Well, I gotta tell you, this should be in store aisles right now. Because even though peanut butter crunch isn't as good as it used to be. It's still kind of a heavy cereal. And, um, boy, that strawberry just perfectly sets it off and lightens it up a little bit. I'd buy this in a New York minute. Hmm. You can make your own. Just mix two. Ah. Oh. What makes it more complete breakfast than some fruit, some whole wheat toast? Lovely. Mmm. Mmm. A little toast. Shaky McGee. Mmm. It's a winter, folks. I've always told my wife that I'm a good cook. This proves that. Wow. If you're a PB&J lover, like I am, 
grape jelly and peanut butter all almost that's one of my favorite dinners to be honest Two more peanut butter and card my hand disappear <clears throat> I'm telling you you gotta try this just so happens the captain I'm sorry Cap'n crunch was on sale both those boxes were like a buck fifty. Mmm. Folks. Folks. I wasn't sure if it was going to be any good. I'm going all in. I'm going all in. Oh, man, I'm going all in. There we go. So it's got done. This has been one of the best bowls of cereal I've ever had. Well, I'm going to have to review it even though I made it and no one's ever going to be able to buy it. Now, any exaggeration, 9.5. Love you guys for watching.